So in this video, we're going to be learning how to deal with race conditions. Now we're all familiar with race conditions when it comes to asynchronous requests. Sometimes multiple requests are firing at once and you need to bring some method to the madness and kind of give order, coordinate the requests so that they can go in the hierarchy or in the sequence you want them to go. Now, uh, HMX provides a way for us to sync requests with another attribute. Like I said, there's always more magic with more attributes. So with another attribute, we can sync our request. We can order our request the way we want them to be ordered. Uh, so I have uh, created some uh, buttons here. Like we have this button that makes a first request. And this one makes a second request. So first request, next request. And they're going to be each targeting one of these divs. So the first request is going to target the div with the ID of target one. The second request is going to target the div with the ID of target two. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be demoing some of the um, synchronization uh, functionalities that come with uh, ATMX. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure these buttons to each make a request. And uh, if we go to the server, I've, there's something I've, I've tweaked uh, this root endpoint. I've tweaked this root endpoint to send the first request after seven seconds. So just to kind of simulate some asynchrony so that there can be some some waiting while uh, the second request tries to fire. So when the first request fires, it would uh, assume some latency. Then we can test what the behavior of the second request is while the first one is still in flight. So the first uh, button is going to be targeting this uh, this uh, endpoint, the root endpoint, which uh, fires after seven seconds or responds after seven seconds. And the second one is going to be targeting this message endpoint. Oh, uh, so let's 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 get those in. So we have um, hx get because the root endpoint is a get request. So I have hx get and uh, hx get is going to target http. Uh, let me pull this aside so I can yeah http local host one three three zero. So it targets that. Uh no, it points to that endpoint rather, and it targets the div. It targets the div with uh, an ID of target one. So we have HX target equals target one. So it targets this div. It's going to be loading its content, the response into this div. So that's the request that will fire first. And it's the one that fires to the um, endpoint that has the seven seconds delay. Then we're going to be firing this second request. I'll put it down here. Say HX post. And that would be targeting the P local host 1330 slash message. Yeah. So, and it will point to this endpoint. So it sends a post request to this endpoint and it would um, target, check target, target, target the second, nope, inside, target two. So it's target the second div. We target the second div. So now we have those two. We have those two divs, uh, two buttons, each targeting uh, different uh, divs. And that's all fine. That's all standard. We all know what this does. But the first thing we're going to do um, is that we want it. We want that when this request is in flight, we don't want this to be triggered, even though even if the button is clicked. So what we're trying to say is that this first request takes precedence over the second one. This must complete before this fires. And if this is not completed, anytime this is clicked, it should be dropped. Yeah, it should just be dropped. This request should be dropped if it is triggered while this is still ongoing. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come to this request and say, oh no, <laughs> I lost it. Yeah, and say HX sync. Yeah, that's the new attribute that we're going to be using. HS sync, and we're going to target this div with a, it has an id I already given an id of first request i give them an id of second request we're going to target this div and say hx sync first request colon drop hx sync first request colon drop it says if first request is still in flight drop this request yeah if first request is still in flight drop this request only when this completes that's where this should be allowed to trigger so let's test that. Let's test that. Uh, let's save. Let's go to our browser. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. Now, this is one video where you really need to watch the network tab. Now, if we click the first request, you see it's still ongoing. It's pending. Now, if we click, keep clicking the second request, it's not going to fire. 
it's not going to fire. We're clicking it, it's not firing. But once the first request was completed and we clicked it, it fired. Yeah, let's do that again. So we, we click the first request, it's pending. Then we click the second request, nope. Click it again, nope. Click it again, nope. Wait for the first request to be done. Then now if we click the second request, it goes. So you see, it gives this top priority over this one. It gives this top priority over this one because on this request, we have declared that if this first request is still in flight, then drop any triggering of this second request. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's, that, was, that was exciting. Now, the second one we're going to be demoing is that we want this second request to take precedence over the first request. So we want to say, no matter what is going on with this first request, if it's in flight, once the second request is clicked, drop the first request. Yeah, drop the first request and replace it with the second one. Replace it with the second one. And we're just going to be making a simple change. Just one change to what we already have. We're going to be changing drop to replace. Yep. We're going to be changing drop to replace. And this says, when this guy is in flight and this is clicked, drop the first one and replace it with this particular request. Yeah. This one now, this is the master now. It's the captain now. So um, let's go back. So we changed the value to replace. Remember this column. Don't miss it. Uh, it's uh, the syntax is selector that's the request you're targeting colon and value so um let's refresh nope refresh that now when we click the first request is in flight now we click the second request the first request is cancelled and the second request takes precedence awesome just awesome and you see it loads into the appropriate um uh, div loads into the appropriate div the first request is cancelled second one takes precedence now, if you didn't catch that, I'm going to demo it again. Let's refresh. So we'll click the first request, it's in flight. Click the second request, it cancels the first one and it goes instead. Awesome. Oh, so, so awesome. Now the third one, which is quite interesting that we're going to be um, uh, demoing is called Q. Yeah, we've looked at drop, we looked at, we looked at replace and we are going to be looking at Q next. And what does Q does? What does it do? Some of you might have guessed. When the first request is in flight and you click the second request, it's going to queue the second request behind the first request so that immediately the first request is done, the second request will trigger automatically without the user having to do anything. So let's try that. Let's uh, refresh. Uh, now let's go to our demo. Let's change replace with Q. Q, Q, Q. With Q. And uh, if we go to our browser once again, we refresh the page and we click the first one it's going then we click the second one and just wait we just wait the second one has been killed behind the first one and you see once the first one completes the second one triggers the second one triggers without us having to click anything it is queued automatically behind the first one and that is just so fantastic there's so many wonderful things you can do that use that to do and if you check the documentation there are more values you can give to queue that's uh, this particular queue value there's there's more uh, other ways you can uh add more specific instruction as to how issue queue you can tell you queue all queue first i think there's a queue last there's a queue last yeah there's a queue last there's a queue last so yeah so there are more more ways you can control the queue uh value but for now yeah that's our demo and uh yep that is how you can synchronize requests using hcmx